Hi, it's Ursula from Ursula-Smith.com and today I'm going to show you how I use vinyl as a mask when I etch metal. Um, I cut it on a silhouette, my digital, die, uh, digital cutter, and then I use that as a mask on metal during the etching process. So thanks for joining me and here comes the idea. Hi, it's Ursula from Ursula-Smith.com and today I am going to do, it's not really a tutorial, it's just kind of an idea that I'm using my Silhouette Digital uh, Cutter and I'm go I've cut some stencils on vinyl and this is going to be like super hard to see and I'll probably have to peel it for you to be able to see it. Um, but I've got some borders and I've got a big kind of bubble wrap look stencil that I've cut on my silhouette and I'm going to apply it to a piece of copper and try and etch using the vinyl as a protectant so wherever the vinyl is the copper will not be etched anything that's open will be etched. I'm not actually going to show you the whole etching process because there's tons of tutorials and YouTube videos and the like out there on how to etch. Um, most people use either Stazon ink or Sharpie markers or iron-on um, things that you can print on your printer, uh, even nail polish, but I haven't seen anybody use vinyl as a um, stencil. So I'm going to give that a shot and I will show you the results. So here is the vinyl applied. Um, so I used the um, full sheet. I could also use the reverse. I mean it would be tedious, but I could take these dots and apply it to another sheet of copper to get the reverse effect. But for this one, wherever you see that copper, that's what's going to be etched. So the holes will kind of go into the copper. That copper will be eaten away. And then all, wherever the white is, the vinyl is, will stay raised up. And so, like I said, if I had wanted to <laughs> take the time to apply the dots to another sheet of paper, I could um, get the reverse effect. The other thing that I may try is um, using this as a stencil and applying either the Stazon or the Sharpie marker or uh, nail polish through the stencil and then take it off and then I would get the same effect as if I did these one by one. <laughs> so that sounds actually a lot better to me and so at some point I will try that and I will post pictures um, on the blog. So anyway, I'm going to go off and etch this and I'll return when it's finished. And one thing I meant to mention is make sure that your metal is very, very clean. Um, any of the directions that tell you how to etch, uh, just about anything that you're really going to do to metal requ requires very, very clean um, metal. So you can, on you know, copper, you can use like a scrubby, you can use a degreaser, alcohol, a little bit of sanding, um, uh, copper, penny, bright, um, anything that's meant to clean metal um, is a good thing before you apply your vinyl and before you etch. So I'll be back. So here's how it came out once I finished etching it and I haven't um, done any patina or anything on it uh, probably do liver sulfur or something like that but came out kind of cool now I just have to cut it into pieces and I still have the stencil came out or off in for the most part one piece so I may use that like I said um, to stencil on either ink or nail polish or something to try to do the reverse on another piece of copper. So anyway, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Hi, I'm back. 
So I did use this stencil. Get it apart again. Um, you can see I took a piece of metal and used the vinyl as a stencil and basically put nail polish through the stencil and then I etched it and it came out like that. Now it still has the nail polish on but I can just take nail polish, just regular nail polish remover and wipe it off. And now I have the basically the reverse of if I put that directly onto the copper. Pretty cool, huh? So anyway, I hope you like this tip. If you have a silhouette or any other kind of digital cutter, cut your own stencils out of vinyl and use it to etch some metal. Really, really fun. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. And one last thing. This was the original one that I did and I patinaed the copper. So you can see the etching a little bit better now and then punched it into some circles. So again, thanks for joining me. See you next time.